Welcome back dear students. We will continue the discussion on actuators. So in the last class we have seen the hydraulic cylinders. Today we are going to see the hydraulic rotary actuators and hydraulic motors. So coming to the second category hydraulic rotary actuators. These are the two types. There are two different I mean, three types rotary actuator with rack and pinion drive is the first one so you can see this is the cylinder and in which a piston is reciprocating and there are two ports A and B through which fluid will be allowed to enter or exit so the center portion the middle portion of the piston middle portion in the sense in the axial direction is formed into a rack so that and it is measured with a pinion pinion gear so this reciprocating motion of the piston will be converted to rotary motion using this mechanism and that speed of the pinion will be dependent on the gear ratio and the piston stroke so serial angle is up to 360 degree is possible with a rack and pinion rotary actuator Now coming to the next one, parallel piston rotary actuator. There are two parallel pistons which are alternately pressurized through these ports A and B. So now coming to the symbolic representation. Whichever the type is, the rotary actuator, hydraulic rotary actuator is represented like this. So the pressure force is transmitted through the piston roots and maximum sewer angle of 100 degree is possible using this kind. Third one is vein type, which can be of a single vein as shown in this diagram, and we can have another vein added to the opposite direction, double vein configuration. The only difference will be in the angle, still angle. Single vein unit is limited to 320 degree, but double vein is limited only to 120 degree because another vein will be added here. So the angle of rotation will be limited further. The third category is hydraulic motor. The working of motor is just opposite charge of the pump. So they convert the input pressure to an equivalent torque. The motor speed depends on the flow rate of the fluid. So a continuous rotary motion if you want instead of having this restricted angle, swivel angle, if you want to get a continuous rotary motion, you have to use a hydraulic motor in the act as an actuator. So these are the four different types of hydraulic motors, bend axis axial piston, slash plate axial piston, vein motor and gear motor. So I am not going to discuss it these in detail because that is not included in the syllabus. Just you need to understand what are the different types. Okay. So with that uh, we will stop the discussion on hydraulic actuators. We will see, we will meet with another topic in another occasion. Till then, goodbye.